In this video, we introduce BiShear, a design space exploration of bidirectional interactions between smartphones and head-mounted augmented reality. We demonstrate the elements of our design space within an interactive prototype that allows users to manage and manipulate 3D models and text content in their surrounding environments. Distributed input relates to the class of techniques for which one platform is used to provide input for the other. In a phone-centric view, users can use a spatial gesture to scroll off site so that they do not clue the content. In an ARHMD-centric view, users can use the touch screen from the phone to manipulate AR objects with accurate adjustments. Distributed UI represents a concept of placing visual interactive widgets on one platform to the other platform. The HMD can provide extra UI components surrounding the mobile device to support a full viewing experience. Conversely, the UI elements of the mobile device can support detailed operations for 3D words. Distributed display represents techniques where the platforms are joined to extend their respective display spaces. For instance, the HMD can render extended display areas for the mobile device to support multiple views with extra content. By tilting the phone, users can turn the mobile phone as a proxy display to view and manipulate multiple augmented objects at once. Content transfer relates to the ability to transfer content between modalities. In a phone-centric task, Users can quickly transfer 3D objects from phone to the surrounding environment. Reversely, users can transfer 3D content from the 3D environment to the phone. Cross-device gestures combine freehand gestures, local touch events, and controller-based input events to create new gestures. For example, in a text editing task, an upper flick combined with the spatially controlled laser pointer will transfer font styles from the phone to the targeted 3D text. Similarly, in a 3D modeling task, the spatial control of the virtual laser pointer can be combined with a downward flick to transfer a targeted model back to the phone. Finally, tangible interactions are the class of technique which leverage the phone as a spatial tangible input device. In a phone-centric context, holding the phone flat creates a virtual shelf to display a spring-loaded preview of 3D content. In an AR-centric context, the phone can be used to knock on nearby models like a brick to transfer them to the 3D preview area above the phone. Or, by facing the phone to 3D objects like a flashlight, the virtual light from the screen will render objects as a wireframe. Please see our paper for more details on the implementation and evaluation of these techniques.